Welcome back to Fifty Whiskey, where we do reviews of whiskey that won't break your wallet. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. You know what we're drinking? We don't. We're going to tell you all about it, and then uh, we'll find out for ourselves. Ooh. 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 We got a country in mind. Yeah, me too. So do I. I want to make sure my palate is clean before I taste this, because it smells so good. You think so? Malty. It just got such a strong malt note. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people actually really don't like that malty note. On the nose, I'm, I would say it's not one that I enjoy. I'm getting a cafe au lait. I have no idea what that is. Coffee it's a with coffee cream. with milk. Cream. Or cream. <laughs> I mean, it Olay. translates to coffee with milk. But It's not like ole, like ole, 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 ole. <laughs> it's A-U space L-A-I-T. Is it? Is it French? It's French. Ah, that's so. See, I was thinking, we oui, we. Oui. I was thinking <laughs> cafe con leche, but I guess that's the same thing. That's Espanol. Slightly different. Cafe con leche also has a sweetener in it. Typically, I'm gonna go in for a taste. Me too, because I can't do this nose anymore. <laughs> that's a silky mouthfeel. That is a silky mouthfeel. Oh, that is a that is a palate. Mmm. I just want to soak this in. <laughs> honey, oily. Oily, yeah. Sweet. Like a thick honey. Malty. Sweet. Malty. It's a little malty on the palate. I mean, as malty as the nose was. Grain forward, yeah. Buttery. Buttery. Shortbread, maybe. I'm almost good. Butter bread. Rice crispy treats. All right. With water. Nose doesn't smell a whole lot different yet. Ugh. Sweeter. No. Eric's going sour. Funkier. I think it's sweeter, but it's too sweet. I think it's funkier, and it's too funky. Take me to funky town. Yeah, this, this is funky town. That is not a note I enjoy on the nose. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people who like can be very adverse to malty notes. Some people love them. And some people who are like very adverse, they, they think it smells funky, strange, weird, in an undesirable way. I don't like it as much without with water, either. It's better without. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was worth a shot. Oh, yeah, it was worth a shot. So with that, then, we're just going to move straight into ratings. We're going to talk about nose palate and finish on a scale of 0 to 5. I thought this note was fantastic on the nose. Very malty. I absolutely loved it. I'm going 4.5 on it. Palette, again, 4.5. Absolutely crazy about this palette. Nice, silky mouth feel. A little bit of cocoa, a little bit of toffee, some great shortbread notes to it. Finish, I'm going with a four. I think I would have liked a le little less tannin on the finish mm -hmm. that I was getting. Dang, Keith. I could agree with you more, but I also couldn't agree. Right. I'm giving this a one on the on the nose. That was atrocious. I do <laughs> not like malt on the nose. I do not. Sam, I am. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of something to rhyme with nose so I could keep it going. It smells too much like toes? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and that's without water. I'm giving it a 4.5 on the palate without water. That was great. As much as I dislike malt on the nose, I do like it on the palate. So if I can not smell it before I'm drinking it, I'm good to go. And then on the finish, I'm giving it a 4. It was great. I'm going to go... Four on the nose. I think mean, those smelled great. It smelled viscous. Like you can smell the qualities that you're going to get on the palate. Yeah, like a yeah. thick fart. On the palate, I'm going to give it 4.5. I think it tasted great. Very viscous. Again, honey, all those great notes that we said. Absolutely. No need for me to repeat them. And on the finish, a four. I think it just carried through. Yeah, I would like, I think it made a little bit better, a little bit longer with different notes. And great. Plug my nose and we're in agreement. With that, we're going to move into our guesses and we're going to talk about. What kind of whiskey do you think this is? What we think the proof is? What we think the retail price is for this bottle? And then how much we'd be willing to pay to get a bottle of this on our shelf? I'm thinking this is a single malt Irish. 25 retail. I would definitely pay 28 proof. I'm going to go 88. No, 90. I think this is from the other island. I think this is Scottish. I do think it's higher proof. I think it's 88 proof. I do think it retails around 25. I would be willing to pay 23. I think that this is a single malt scotch. I think it is probably 86 proof. I think it probably retails for like $33. I'd be willing to pay 30. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out what we drink today. Today you were drinking Dewar's White Label. 
Dewar's White Label is a blended Scotch whiskey that was created in 1899 by J.A. Cameron, the first master blender of Dewar's. It contains around 40 single malts and grains with Aberfeldy as its core. Dewar's White Label is bottled at 80 proof. We paid $20 for our bottle with an average retail price of $25. As always, your prices may vary. Delicious. <laughs> that is so much better if I can't smell it. This is not what I thought it was. Today we drank Dewar's White Label. That is an 80 proof. We all thought it was much higher than that. Blended scotch. Very blended. Reason much. It's a blended. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't single malt. All I said was, was scotch. For $20, as long as that's, I don't smell it, that's a steal. I, I, think, yeah. I think I got this on sale in Ohio. That's why it was $20. But you can get it here, though. You can get it here. <laughs> you can get it by the handle here. Yeah, it's readily available. And it's supposed to be peating this, but I'm not getting it. As long as I don't smell it, that's at great. All. Which is what... What drew you to the other island? Yeah. I can maybe get like a little bit peat. If I'm, if I'm mistaking the the oak influence for it, for being like a a slight peat influence. I mean, remember, it's a blended scotch, so it's not like it's a lot of peat. It's like they pick some peated malt and they blend it in with the rest of everything else to make accent flavors. That's what we thought of this bottle, and uh, we were a bit surprised. For $20, that's an absolute steal. Now that you say it, I can smell it. As long as I don't smell it. I can smell the peat. I can smell the feet. That's the thing of this bottle. Let us know down in the comments below what you think of it. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drinks, drinks on me. me.